Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. I'm Sandy, and I'm so happy that you are here with me. Today, I'm going to show you how to transform three plain dollar store glass vases into beautiful, glam, high-end looking centerpieces. I will list out all the materials, and if you would like, you can also visit my blog site at creativity.com for all the details. If you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would also love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. To begin, I will show you the materials. All the materials were found at Dollar Tree unless otherwise stated. We will need an assortment of glass vases or glass tumblers. The first one is a tall cylindrical one. The second one is what I think Dollar Tree calls a Pilsner glass. And the third one is more like a stemless wine tumbler. For each of these, we will be adding a glass candlestick holder to the bottom. Or, if you don't have any on hand, you can use a smaller glass bowl or glass tea light holder. These are optional to add, but will give your vase some height, which I prefer. Now, to upscale our vases, we will be using some acrylic diamond-shaped gems. Dollar Tree has the gems occasionally, if you can find them, but the ones I'll be using are from Dollarama. We will also need some metallic pony beads. If you prefer, you could substitute the metallic silver ones for metallic gold ones. And as per most of my crafts projects, we will also need our handy dandy glue gun. Mine was purchased from Amazon. For the first vase, we will need to measure out the placement of the gems. To help ensure that the placements are evenly spaced and placed in straight pattern, I will be using a clear plastic kitchen sink mat that I found at the Dollar Tree. This one has square openings and would be perfect for me to use as a template to mark where the gems will go. To place the markings on the glass vase, I'll be using a white marker like this one from the Dollar Tree. And the good thing is that if you make a mistake, you can easily scratch off the marking from the glass. Once the glass vase had been marked up, we can start making our gem sets. You will see that I'm using a small amount of hot glue to attach one metallic pony bead to the pointy end of one gem. Based on how I spaced out my gem markings on the glass cylindrical vase, I will need 91 sets for the tall cylindrical vase, 13 spaced across, and 7 going down the length of the vase. If you choose to place your gems closer or farther apart, you will need either more or less sets. For this process, it may be a bit tedious, so grab your favorite drink, turn on some tunes, and get down to work to put your gem sets together. Once you have enough gem sets, we can start adhering the gem sets to the glass vase with some hot glue. When placing the gems onto the vase, make sure to check that they are placed in a straight pattern and spaced evenly. I would also recommend that you place the gems starting from top to bottom, one column at a time. And if you make a mistake, you can always readjust before the hot glue settles.
beautiful the vase is already. The gems really make the vase a sparkle. And to give this vase some height, use some glue to adhere a glass candlestick holder to the bottom of the vase. When placing the candlestick holder onto the bottom of the glass vase, I would recommend you turn the glass vase upside down and then place the candlestick holder to the bottom center of the vase. And there you have it. Our first high-end looking glass vase is finished. It looks absolutely stunning and no one would guess that it only cost a few dollars. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you prefer the vase with or without the candlestick holder on the bottom? And if you like the vase, please give me a thumbs up to let me know. For our second piece, we will need to measure out the placements of the gems again. Since the Pilsner glass has a silhouette shape, try to space out the gems so that gems do not sit on the slanted part of the glass. Since this glass has a curve to it, we will not be able to use the kitchen sink mat like we did previously to measure out the spacing. So, to measure out the placement of the gems, I placed several gems on the table around the glass until I was satisfied with the spacing. Then I used my white marker and a ruler to start marking up the glass. For this glass, I will need 24 gem sets, 6 across and 4 down. And there you have it, our second piece is done. This one is slightly shorter and skinnier than the first one, but will still hold a bunch of long stem flowers very nicely. For our third piece, we will use the same technique to measure out the placements of the gems and then adhere them to the glass. For this glass, I used up 24 gem sets, 8 across and 3 down.
And there you have it. Our third piece is also done. This one is the shortest of the bunch, but because of the wide opening, you can place either short stem flowers or you may even opt to place a candle holder inside instead. And here's all three pieces together as a set. Comment down below and let me know which one of the three you like best. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon. Thank you.